Bushmaster is a formidable villain. Um, what was it about the character that excited you the most? I think um, the most is the, the physicality of it. Um, the way that he moves um, certainly got me excited. Um, I'm a physical guy, and so like I was like, I want to be in position to have to do that, be taught to do that, um, et cetera. Um, second, sort of in, you know, sort of a tie was the fact that he has an accent. And I think like that, you know, it's a good challenge and it sort of does a lot of the work for you, fortunately. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sort of a cheat code. But uh, yeah. Oh, it's a great accent. And um, you talked about the physicality. So how much of the, the fighting was you? How much was it? Was it um, I, did, I did the majority of my stunts. I, I, did, I didn't do any of the flips. Um, I can flip, but uh, 12 hours on set, oh, you do that at 12.30 at midnight, and it, and probably not a good idea. So bring in the professionals. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy my sons. And yeah. how long did that, because that, the, the, the martial arts stuff is amazing. How yeah. long did that take to? You know, it was just, I, I know, I love that stuff. You know, I have a history. I've, I've done quite a bit of fighting and, you know, uh, so it was, you know, between that and fight choreography, like we go, we take whatever sessions, I go home and I get it in my muscle memory over and over again and get on set, do whatever adjustments we have to, and boom. But I think between Sideswipe and my, my eagerness, we were able to pull it off, yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously Black Panther is in the MCU as well. Did you see the movie? Yeah. Um, what three, was times. Oh, three times. I bought it too, you know. I, I just, I mean, I wanted to see it. At first I saw it in not 3D, then I wanted to see it in 3D, and then somebody came into town, I was like, ah, let's just go see it. So, um, yeah, it was amazing. You had another part of the question? Yeah. Oh, um, uh, just uh, what was your reaction, and would you like Bushmaster to potentially appear in Wakanda? I would love Bushmaster to be in Wakanda, you know what I mean, or have some interactions. Um, I love Okoye. I'd love to, to converse with her, <laughs> you know what I mean? I think they have some of that same samurai energy inside, just like relentless. Um, yeah, I thought it was just a, it was a great movie. It was, it was, you know, to see, it was a lot of uh, social commentary in there. Um, I love the empowerment of the women in there. Like, Okoye was so bad. It was great to see her, you know, just, just kick ass. Um, and the, the, you know, intelligent sister. And, you know, I, I just, I, it was nice. It was nice. Refreshing, you know. Amazing. Thank you so much. And uh, did you see Infinity War? Um, yeah. And do you think Bushmaster survived Thanos' snap? <laughs> well, I mean, right now there's this sort of parallel universe. So I think, yeah. In that parallel, we do survive, but I'd love to see some some cross pollination happening, you know. Um, but Infinity War is amazing. Yeah, yeah. amazing. And um, you were directed by James Franco in The Pretenders. Uh, yeah. What What's he like to work with as, James? as a director? Yeah, he's he's great. He's great. He's really smart. Um, he knows what he wants. Uh, can be impatient in times. Um, but you know, that's that's an Aries for you. <laughs> Amazing. And yeah. um, it feels like you're in quite an exciting period uh, in your career. Yeah, it's, it's um, cool. Do you have like a, a wish list of directors that you'd like to work with? Um, you know, I'd love to work with James Cameron. I think like him, it would, his work and his life are so like intriguing to me. I'm like, are you human? You know what I mean? Like him going in a submarine down. So that's just amazing. So, um, but more or less my, my wish is I want to do some more like lighthearted stuff. I want to do more comedy, romantic comedies. Um, more so than working with a particular director. Um, just to, just to, to, to broaden the portfolio because there's, there's more than playing villains for me. Um, and yeah. Yeah. Is that something you're worried about then, potentially being typecast? Worried? As a no, no, no worried so much. You know, um, I just it's it's something that I'm focused on. You know, like okay, so let's just let's round it out so you can see other sides of my creative ability. I mean, you know. And um, what were your thoughts on the first season of, of Luke Cage? I thought it was great. You know, I had some of the same criti criticisms that many of the fans had. You know, I, I wanted to see more of Cottonmouth. He left way too soon, you know, and then and then Diamondback just made me think of sort of like a, f a, f a 50s villain, you know. And him right after Cottonmouth, I was like, okay. Um, but overall, um, it was great to see the show done. You know what I mean? And um, I feel like the showrunner and everybody, we, they, they took all the thing, the kinks from the first season and bumped it up. So it's a nice graduation. And a final question. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, 
Pushmaster is a Yardie. Yeah. Um, Yardie is quite a big thing in the UK. Yeah. Um, what kind of research did you do into that world? Um, I, man, I, I did as I, I scoured the internet for all the stuff and my also my subconscious for all the interactions I had with people growing up, you know, and I've had quite a, you know, Caribbean influence has been in my life, but like I watched uh, Harder They Come like 50 million times. I just left it on repeat, slept to it, Naya Bingy music. Um, and it's not far removed from me. So, um, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for your time and yeah, thank you man. for thank the you for performance. Coming. It's so cool. I appreciate thank it, you. brother, yeah. Thank you.